everyone, this is MJ with Minio. In today's video, we'll be using the Minio client and the mcls command to list buckets, uh, directories, and files both locally on your local system and also in remote S3 or object storage buckets. The mcls command lists buckets and objects on Minio or other S3 compatible services. So that means this works with things like AWS S3 as well. You can also use the mcls command against the local file system to produce similar results as the ls command. So some examples here are mcls and the home symbol. Uh, this would list all the files in your local home directory. mcls minio1 would be referencing an alias um, and be listing out all of the remote uh, buckets in that remote alias. The mcls-r command, r is recursive, means that it would not only list the buckets, but it would also list all of the files shown there. And mcls-r minio1 test bucket1 would be basically scoped into that specific bucket on that remote alias and only show you files from within that bucket. So think of that as only looking in a specific path in your local system, but instead this is looking in a specific path in the remote uh, minio bucket. As always, we recommend that you follow along directly with the minio documentation. Here are some links and we will also put these links in the description as these instructions and versions will be updated over time. Let's jump into the labs. So here we are in the labs and let's go ahead and show how the ls command and the mcls command slightly differ. If I do ls dot, you can see that it lists all the files in this current directory. And if I do ls minus l dot, you can see that now it shows a slightly different view showing permissions and ownership. And it also shows the size of these files, um, but it shows it in bytes. If I do a ls minus lh, it actually shows it in a human readable format uh, which is something we can un better understand. And you can see now that this is a one gig file instead of previously this was showing in bytes and you would have to decipher that. So let's take a look at how we would use the mcls command. If we run mcls locally, we can see by default that not only does it list out all files, including hidden files, but it also by default shows in human readable form that this file is a one gig file and does not try to show us this in bytes. Let's try this against a remote host. So here we are listing all of the buckets that are located on our minio1 alias. And you can see that by default, it only shows the buckets that are there. We can also drill down into the buckets by going into that path. So we will go into test bucket one. And we can also see the files that are located in there, again, showing as human readable format all of the files in that particular bucket. Another super powerful feature of this is that we can do something like mcls minio1 test bucket1 and summarize. What this is going to tell us is not only all of the files that are in there, but also the total size and the number of objects in that specific path. You can also output this as JSON as you can with all of the mc commands. Um, in case you want to consume this using some other format, including, you know, machine or automation or things like that, where you want to transform this information and have it do something additional for you. We can simply tack on the slash slash JSON. And now you can see that this is JSON output and we can see the total objects and total size output in JSON as well. Another thing that we can do is add the recursive flag. So if we do MCLS minio1, and then recursive, we can actually see that this not only lists all of the buckets in this uh, complete alias, but also it lists all of the files within those buckets. So we can see test bucket one has a number of files as well as test bucket two. And then lastly, we can look inside zip files using the mcls command. I'll show you that here. So I have a zip.test, and if I tell it that this is a zip file, we can actually see inside that zip file and see that there are five files inside that particular zip. Lastly, we can also use the mcls command to search multiple remote aliases. So in this command, we'll use mcls minio1 test bucket1, as well as minio2 test bucket2, which is a separate alias, and search both of them at the same time. And now you can see here that we are showing files not only from test bucket1, but also minio2 as well. So that's some of the basics of using the mcls command. 
If you'd like to learn more, you can visit min.io for more information. Or if you'd like to join the discussion, you can visit slack.min.io to become part of the discussion. Thanks and have a good one.